Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across uh, the application has failed to start because the side by side configuration is incorrect error on your Windows computer. So, generally speaking, this issue would come across when you're trying to use the command line tool or perhaps you're trying to access some sort of application. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys and without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start this tutorial off by opening up a web browser. doesn't matter which one but I'm going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And into Google you want to go search Microsoft Visual C++ and just search for that. You should see a Microsoft domain. This is down with Visual C++ Redistributable. Go ahead and just open that up. We're going to select the 2015 version for this tutorial, it's fine. And we're going to go select the orange download button. Now if you're running a 32-bit computer, you're going to download the 86 version. If you're running a 64-bit computer, you're going to select the 64-bit download. I have a tutorial on my channel already if you're unsure if you're running a 32 or 64-bit computer. So go search that if you don't know. Otherwise, we're going to go select the 32-bit version. Most of you guys are going to select the 64-bit version, though. I'm just going to put that out there right off the bat. Most people are going to be running the time 64 one. In my situation, I'm going to be doing the times 86. So if you don't know, there's a good chance it's probably the times 86 one. So anyway, we're going to select next. And about 13 megabytes, so not too big. And once it's done downloading, we're just going to go ahead and open it up. If you receive a user account control prompt, you can select yes. And it's going to say Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. We're going to go ahead and agree to the license terms and then select install. So you can see it's already been sold on my computer. However, if it wasn't on your computer, you just would follow along with the on-screen instructions. So pretty straightforward process. Restart your device and see if that resolves the problem. If not, another thing you can try here would be to open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm going to have a command in the description of the video. I'm actually going to have two, but we're going to copy the first one, the SFC command. So just highlight over it in my description, right click on it and copy. And then over in the command prompt window here, we're just going to right click on the top bar, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this. It will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that one is done, we're going to go run the second command here, the DISM command. So just copy that from my description of the video and then paste that one in the same way we did the first one here. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so it should say the restore operation completed successfully. Once you're done with that, you just close out of here, restore your computer, and that would be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.